So our second presenter tonight is uh, Masato, Masato Kikuchi, who is presenting on our first problem-based motivation, which is that variety of viewpoints or the information array that you get from the available materials. So one of the problems you may have is that your available materials, think textbook, think, think syllabus, think uh, materials you're already using, are, are simply not conducive to the type of interaction that you would like to accomplish. And we all know that textbooks are great for sort of formatting our content, but often fall very short of what we would like to see ideally in our classroom. And because we're all fantastic foreign language instructors, we know that interaction is key to learning a foreign language. So we like to bring in as much interaction as possible. And we're gonna talk in these webinars across the next month or so about a lot of ways to increase the amount of input, interaction, and output that your students can accomplish by using specific online tools and by designing your materials in specific and, and, and very um, motivated ways for you that will create the type of interaction in your classroom that you want to see. So for example, maybe those materials in the textbook give every student the same amount of information. They all see the same page all the time, but you would like to create some sort of an information gap activity. You would like for some students to see some information and other students to see different information so that they have to actually communicate with each other in order to get that information. So that might be one motivation that you have for creating online materials. 